So let's discuss Bootstrap's Toast component. So right here we have a basically a, a bunch of Toast components on the bottom that are positioned at the bottom to the right hand side. And basically we can get rid of these. And these are basically messages of something has happened, kind of acknowledge that it exists. So that's kind of the purpose of Toast. Let's say you get a message uh, if you have an, a messenger app or a messenger component in your app and you get a new message, you can say, hey, you had a new message and you just keep popping up the new messages here and they can dismiss and you can even uh, you can even uh, get rid of these after a period of time if you wanted to. So we'll show you how to do that. We're kind of mixing in Angular uh, pretty heavily in this particular case. I was having some problems with the Toast working as they have in the documentation currently using beta version two. So maybe uh, there's there's something missing here or there's some fixes that are, are gonna come in. If anybody knows how to get this working out of the box, uh, feel free to uh, enter a comment, but I just know I'm using beta version two right now. Hopefully in the future, this stuff will kind of work for, work a little bit better, but uh, we got it to work uh, the way it's supposed to using a little bit of Angular. So I'm gonna show you how that works. So just at the top level here, you see my little reset button here. I have this other div element that's positioned using uh, the utility class, which is just the positioning of your elements. There's a bunch of different ways that you can position with Bootstrap. Um, so we'll have another video on that. But in this particular case, we use a position fixed, and then we denote it to the bottom of this page that, it, that this page is in, and this page is just everything basically around here. And we marked it over to the end over here and we took out all the padding, but then we added some back in. So I got a padding of three to wrap around everything here. And we added this toast container. It just kind of organizes all the toast components here uh, with some spacing. So it does uh, just a few things. And we put the index here of five just to make sure it's kind of popped out. I could put, sometimes you'll put a higher value here, a thousand or something like that. That'll just make sure it's on top of everything else. So the way we're building these is we're building them using an object called Toast. So let me just show you what this looks like and you'll see that we have some pass ins and uh, we're, we're getting a pass out, uh, an output event of close hit to uh, denote the visibility. So on Toast, we have this getter of Toast and I'm gonna to filter to make sure everything's showing. So as you saw over here, we're taking an output event to do is show as false and that'll remove it. I could have also done an NGF here, but why not if I'm pulling all this from an object, just do the type check here, since I know I'm not gonna show anything that isn't, it, it isn't supposed to be visible. So let's just assume your object looks like this, and this object can be something that uh, maybe you create pop on a class somewhere, and you're always reading that to get the latest message. Maybe you can mix and match different messages. You just save something, you just got a message, uh, you know, navigate to a page, some, some event happened, and it's basically kind of like a notification event, and that's how we're treating it here is on the bottom right. You can place it anywhere you want to, um, you could paste it at the bottom of a control that you just edited saying, hey, you edited, uh, uh, assert it that it's going to be closed. Or you can, and we'll show you how you can add like a timer event on this to fade it away, uh, mostly because the, the auto hide event is not working. So, um, so here we're taking an object of title uh, message, which is the message pass, and we're just getting the date when this is created. So basically on instantiation of this class, these toast components are created and then I'll uh, reset it. I'm just resetting the flag here. So I'm gonna keep these uh, uh, basically always here. Um, so normally you would probably pop this onto a stack of objects and then remove it some other way. Uh, maybe, you keep, maybe you'll keep it in memory like this and just toggle the is show later on. Depends on how, how you wanna do it. But basically this is the structure we're building we're looping over this in an ng4, we're grabbing a toast property and we're passing in the title, passing in the date it was created, the message, and we're binding to the is show event uh, for when the close is hit on toast. So let's go into toast and look at how a toast component is actually structured and made and what we had to do to get this to work correctly. So here is the toast component wrapped in this div. We have a toast, uh, this is a fade in um, and a fade out. 
and there's a show uh, property here to actually get it to show. And I tried to do this without the show and it was not working. That was kind of a, the expected behavior as it would show up um, uh, w without having to put this. But I think that may, may be part of what the hide problem is. I'm not sure I was trying to hide it without, but I was, I was just having a lot of problems there. So, um, so we'll show you all the little thing, show you all the other things we did to, to work around that. Uh, but real quick here, we just have assisted technology here. So this is assertive alert. There's also like a status. Oh, let's see what those asserts were. There's also uh, a role of status and polite. That's what it is. And those are the, the roles that you put in. That's just for assisted readers to tell if this is an important message or not very important message. Uh, we have an auto hide set to true, set to false. I didn't really see any difference there. So... That's one thing is you'd have to hook up a timer to uh, maybe either call this close event here, or if you wanted to do, you could hook up the timer up here in the controls event here to automatically hide it. I probably want to put it here to contain it in the toast class. But um, so we have uh, the toast is the outer container, toast header and toast body are how you get these effects. So here's the toast header. Here's the toast body, and on uh, another screen, this would actually show a little bit more color. There's some color der derivations here, but they're uh, generally kind of look the same on this particular screen. Um, so we have a strong title. We have a date with a pipe formatting for a date type using month, day, year, hours, and seconds. So you can see that's how we got here. They're all the same. Uh, but there's our toast uh, title, date, and then the close of it, which is... Uh, Data dismiss toast. This is normally how you close it. You put a button close class to get the X. Um, this label is uh, just assisted technology to tell it's close. But since that wasn't working, I uh, put the output event, bind it to the close hit, and then match it on the property and the parent object. And switching that to false, uh, you know, we just emitted that from the list that we were coming that we we're sending back. And if we wanted to close it, we can close it there and it would work just like we expect it to work out of the box. And I expect this to get fixed in later versions. They're still working on stuff um, as I'm showing this. So just kind of keep that in note. Uh, uh, you may have to mess with that a little for a little bit longer if you're using Bootstrap 5 now that it's still in beta version. Um, so let's look on the back end. We got our close hit. Uh, this is for closing. This is our title. This is our message. And this is our date. And I did some uh, initialization here in case nothing's put in and just like kind of the tool tips and popovers uh, we need to do we need to pull a list of the objects which in this case is just one and then we're going to instantiate a new object of toast I tried doing this with open uh, basically binding uh, to kind of like we did with the modal um, where you import the toast event and then you uh, grab an object from an ID and then you try to open it uh, normally, but it was not working. So uh, settled on kind of this whole process that I sh showed you to, to get it to run. So now that we kind of looked over this object, we're back up to here. As you see, we can just close all these objects. And I hit a reset button here to go through and swap all the flags. So that's basically all that we're doing here. And I hope kind of you kind of kind of get the idea of a toast. You're going to build some sort of object. Maybe we can build a model backing that has a title message, date, is show, or whatever else we want to put in these little toasts. You can just build up a collection of objects, have it positioned somewhere on your page. And basically every time some event fires back, you have a central location where you're just adding this data from each of these different types. We'll have a different uh, formatting or different message, or maybe even a different icon that you put in there to to pass into the object list, and then you build out these these controls based upon that data. So it kind of gives you a, a data controlled UI. So I hope uh, after going all this, we've demystified, maybe added a little mystification back onto what a toast is. Uh, you know, in, in, using Toast and Bootstrap. So we did some workarounds with Angular to get it to show uh, correctly. And um, I hope uh, people understand this a little bit more. Uh, comment, uh, concerns, criticisms down below. Subscribe if you like. And thank you.